The story of the NKF began in the 1960s when Dr. Ku Un Tik witnessed the plight of kidney failure patients, including his own brother, who died from this disease. At that time, about 200 Singaporeans died each year from kidney failure. As a nephrologist, Dr. Ku was determined to set up a National Kidney Foundation to help needy kidney patients. Dr. Ku's mission to help the lives of kidney patients bore fruit when the NKF was inaugurated on 7th of April 1969 on World Health Day. The NKF's objective was to render services to kidney failure patients, encourage and promote renal research, as well as carrying out public education programs on kidney diseases. In September 1982, the NKF officially opened its first dialysis centre at the Kwong Wai Shu Hospital. However, it could only admit a few patients as it did not have sufficient resources. So the NKF started building dialysis centres at the void decks of HDB estates to keep costs low and make dialysis more accessible for kidney patients. In 1987, the NKF's first satellite dialysis centre was established in Tuapayo. It was the beginning of a new era for more centres to be built within other housing estates, bringing affordable dialysis to kidney patients. In 2001, five caring donors, Singapore Buddhist Welfare Services, the late Mr. Tae Chun Hai, the Shaw Foundation, Singapore Pools and Lee Foundation generously contributed $21 million for the entire cost of building the NKF Centre. A year later, with a $4 million donation from the Shaw Foundation, a children's kidney centre at the National University Hospital was set up to support children with kidney diseases. In July 2005, a new board and management team was formed for a leaner, cost-effective NKF after the former CEO and directors stepped down due to breach of fiduciary duties, among others. The NKF then enhanced corporate governance and accountability, improved patient care, streamlined structure, reduced operating costs and passed on the savings to patients. Having re-established itself as a patient-centric organization, its chairman, Mr. Gerard E, handed over the reins in 2012 to Mr. Ko Po Tiong. As one of the largest VWO healthcare organizations in Singapore, the NKF sees itself fulfilling an important role to advocate for kidney health and general well-being. The foundation is therefore placing greater emphasis on kidney disease education and prevention diabetes and hypertension, the leading causes of kidney failure are preventable. Its school's outreach program reaches out to the young, where they learn about kidney functions, kidney failure, and how kidney patients cope with this chronic condition through interactive and hands-on learning. These include the learning journey at its kidney discovery center, assembly talks and health booths at schools, and its Kidney Health Education Bus. For adults, Healthy Mondays, consisting of health talks, health screenings, and exercises to engage employees and motivate them to create a culture of wellness and start the week off healthy, was introduced to organizations and corporations. Its Kidney Health Education Bus, with health screening stations, also brings preventive health care to their doorsteps. The NKF also reaches out to the community by partnering with the media, healthcare and social agencies, grassroots organizations and institutions to spread health messages through various events and channels. Its goal is to have everyone, young and old, to take care of their health and stay healthy. For those afflicted with kidney failure, NKF promotes kidney transplant as it provides kidney patients the best long-term survival 
and enables them to lead better and fuller lives. It is the most optimal solution to kidney failure. The transplanted kidney can substitute almost fully the lost functions of the failed kidneys and it usually begins to function right away, thus allowing the patient to lead a normal life. The NKF launched the Kidney Live Donor Support Program in 2009, where financial assistance is given to a needy live donor. The objective is to ensure that costs will not be an obstacle for the donor's long-term medical follow-up. For needy patients who require dialysis, the NKF promotes peritoneal dialysis, or PD for short. PD is a home-based treatment that allows kidney patients to have more flexibility and control of their lifestyle. To encourage PD and build the confidence of patients undergoing this treatment, the NKF has a comprehensive PD community support program where trained and experienced PD nurses work closely with the hospitals to support PD patients at home to help them start well and stay well. With the increasing kidney patient population, the NKF remains committed to building more new dialysis centers to ensure that no patient will be denied access to dialysis. It continues to staff its dialysis centers with professional renal nurses, as well as equip and upgrade the centers with up-to-date medical equipment so that patients receive quality treatment and care to achieve good clinical outcomes. The NKF is committed to giving patients life and hope. For this reason, the Foundation passionately cares for our patients and treats the entire person and not just the disease. Therefore, besides quality dialysis, it has put in place a wide range of patient welfare programs to help them cope with their illness so that they can reintegrate into society, support their families and lead fulfilling lives. Our exercise specialists plan and organize exercise and recreational activities to improve patients' physical outcomes, while dietitians provide personalized nutrition care and diet counseling. A team of medical social workers conducts home visits to address their psychosocial needs. Patient and caregiver workshops on self-management in dialysis care are also conducted regularly. With patients getting older, sicker, less ambulant and having multiple comorbidities, the NKF established the Patient Advocacy Program to enhance the overall dialysis experience of patients. Patient advocates visit newly diagnosed patients at the hospitals to provide psycho-emotional support. Through the buddy system, advocates also encourage new patients at the weekly new patient orientation and at dialysis centers as they begin their dialysis journey. These advocates also volunteer their services in the NKF's community outreach program to give back to society. Monthly patient gatherings are also held as a platform to enrich patients' lives through bonding and sharing. Through the Circle of Hearts program, volunteers help patients in their rehabilitation by providing friendship conducting enrichment classes, engaging them through mind stimulation activities as well as providing house cleaning and painting services to the needy patients. Volunteers also escort patients with mobility issues for their medical appointments and dialysis sessions as well as deliver food provisions to patients' homes. The NKF will continue to work closely with the Ministry of Health other healthcare providers and the community as it does its part to increase awareness of kidney disease and prevention, promote kidney transplantation, encourage home dialysis and improve dialysis care while utilizing donations in the most prudent and cost-effective manner. Ultimately, its aim is to ensure that no needy patient is deprived of treatment and that the Foundation's programs remain viable, leaving a legacy for the people of Singapore, the NKF donors and supporters who make its programs a living example of human compassion. <laughs>